Oh, the restroom's up here, you know? Yeah, it slants down. It's a little awkward, but it can make it work. Yeah. Does this? Yeah. No, this is definitely weird. They have separate electricity? Separate water? I believe so, yeah. I'm going to have to double check because they have the water here. Um, we, we went to the big house, but it's occupied, so we have to go back in there. We gave them a chance to wake up. There's still some. Yeah, so this is just a very general walkthrough. I think afterwards, Don will give us a couple bits, right. and then so we'll take that into consideration. Uh, we've never been up here. We just thought this was a, a studio, but there's a bedroom right here. Really small closet, really small restroom, but this is still a one bedroom apartment. It's still right. a one bedroom apartment, right? Yeah. Because there's a wall separating the two. Exactly. Yeah. You can definitely see they patch it up. Right. So it does. Right? Like all along this line, yeah. It doesn't look like it was a leak or anything like that. It just looks like they have some. Right. I'm not a professional at inspecting. I leave that to the professionals. So when we have uh, roof inspection, where we have home inspection, they're going to come out here and get into every little crack and figure out exactly if there's something wrong with the house. And generally, if it's not a brand new house, there's always something wrong with the house. And uh, we want to get that report and use that report to counter with the seller to get a better price on the property. Right there as well. This is like, you look at the garage, it's, it's like tipping over this way. Fine. Look at Yeah. I want to, I'm not standing on flat ground. You know, it's good we have Don here because he does a lot of work for us. So he'll be able to give us a preliminary bid before the inspectors come out. The inspectors can come out, they look at the property give us the entire list of all the stuff that needs to be done. We forward the list to Don. Don's gonna go over the entire list, tell us how much um, it'll cost us to address every single one of those issues. And then we kind of pick and choose um, what we want to present to the, the seller. Because now, you know, let's just say if we come back another $10,000 in fixes and repairs, we can ask the seller, hey, you know, pay for this for us, for the purchase, right? And once we do the home inspection, here's the thing. They have to disclose it to the next buyer, right? If I don't buy it, they still have to disclose it to the next buyer with all their findings. So most likely they're going to run into somebody that want those addresses as well. So the key thing is just to come to a medium where, you know, the seller accepts, I accept, uh, I the buyer obviously want a very good price, and the seller wants a good price for them. So you just have to find a median, a finesse. Finesse. Yeah, you got to finesse into that right number. Um, the point is. You know, it's a decent Maybe. property. Um, the numbers make sense is the biggest thing. We're just talking about numbers, right? 1100 upstairs, 18, 1900 downstairs. We're like right there. So numbers make sense, property looks sense. Neighborhood, not the best, not the worst. This is like, this uh, I like it. Yeah, I like it. We just noticed there's one meter. So they share electricity, so they would have to, maybe, we're just talking about it, maybe they'll pay them an extra $100 a month towards the bill, $60 a month, um, or we can put another meter on there, but that'll be pretty costly for you. I don't think it would be worth it, but we can find out a way for them to split the utility costs on the meters. Um, yeah. Other than that, yeah, other than I mean, that. If it's the right price, yeah. <laughs> make it work, you know, yes. if it's the right price, it's not, then... It looks pretty good though, structurally. The walls look good, the foundation looks good. Yeah. Um, I would still recommend a home inspection. No, we do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because sure. yeah, you want to find yeah, out sure. what's behind that. Exactly. All this. That's just right? cosmetic crap mm -hmm. there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. yeah, you want to know what's up behind it. Right. Because we're going to have Even all this, this, this is like overflowing. Because yeah, they haven't cleaned their gutter. Right. If you look up, Brian. No, even above that. They just pay it over. Mm -hmm. You'd probably end up putting some gutters on here. No. Or I, I, yeah, I will. We'll now some. Cool. You guys need me for anything else? Uh, we're good. Yeah, okay. we're gonna start working on um, the turnarounds on 46 and Balsam. That's what we got going. Balsam on. first. Yeah. Balsam, Balsam first. first. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you so Pleasure much. Talk. See you again. Right, yeah, Thanks, man. Oh, see you soon. Good meeting you guys. Hey, you too. Later. Good to meet you, man. Yes, sir. This is not noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> there are absolutely you know, key areas that we need to look at, but the thing is, uh, this is not going to be very detailed inspection. That, that's not 
the purpose of this walk. The detailed inspection part will be done by inspection companies. That, that's their profession. That's what they do, right? So we get pest inspection, home inspection. Uh, if you want, we can go into roof, like more detailed. But the main thing here is whether or not the area is conducive to what I'm looking for, whether or not I feel that the home has an income generating potential that is stated on paper.